So historically, we've seen socialist communist groups kind of infiltrate and then, and then change the group, trying to edge towards socialism. Do you see Antifa doing that? So it's kind of a little bit difficult to really talk about like Antifa like mm -hmm. as a whole, because again, it has no leader, it has no movement. It's kind of a bunch of independent selves kind of working towards a common goal. And a lot of them will say, well, the root of fascism is capitalism. So that's their aim to really mm -hmm. fight against what that is. So now looking independently at some of these groups, that is exactly what they're doing. Uh, it's, it's a form of organizing called mass lining. There's two major, major uh, political tactics for Antifa and for all their groups. One of them is called propaganda by the deed, which is when you enact political violence against an individual with the intent that others will join in because they're so inspired by all the, of the, everything that's happening and the fact that people are getting away with it. Well, the other one is a little bit much more, it's much more complicated. It's called mass line. Well, in mass line, you organize specific sections of society and by infiltrating these groups and really getting to know what their struggles are and then organizing their struggles into nice little catchy phrases that they can push. And a lot of people in those communities, they'll think like, yeah, like finally we're speaking out. This is what we need to do. We speak out for our rights. And that's all good and dandy. But if you see the key organizers, they tend to only be pushing policies that will get us slowly and closer towards socialism. And that's exactly what we're seeing today throughout America. You see the left infiltrating college campuses and they're talking about mm -hmm. uh, hate speech and how that's harmful. Well, they're organizing in that sector. Mm -hmm. It's mass line there. And they're trying to get all the students who want to help, uh, say, transgender students or uh, African-American students, all of those people that people think they tend to be more vict victimized, well, they organize them to try to get us away from free speech, closer towards a socialist view. Well, mm -hmm. outside of college campuses, you see the exact same thing with uh, police reform right now. Look, there's a problem with, uh, with policing in America. I think we're kind of beginning to really see that as a society today. But instead of really trying to have a conversation, mm -hmm. key organizers are saying, defund the police. Yeah. That's not an accident. That's something that, that they're trying to do so they can promote other uh, policies that are, gets us closer to socialism. And once you infiltrate one, one sector of society and then another sector of society and then another and then another and another, whether it be uh, buses, uh, unions, worker unions for steel workers, you, then all of a sudden you have all these socialist policies throughout the country. And then and it's easier to take the leap from a conservative or from a libertarian or from a capitalist market into say electing somebody like Bernie Sanders or Alexander Ocasio Cortez for president. Mm -hmm. It's all about getting us closer to socialism so it's easier for us to adopt it. Thanks so much for watching this video. To watch our latest video, click here. And to make sure you don't miss any future videos, be sure to subscribe.